Hello everyone, this is a brief tutorial on understanding exposure using um, aperture, ISO, and shutter speed. Um, to do this, I'll be using my uh, Canon T3i in video mode. You can see I have a subject in front of the camera, which hopefully will help demonstrate um, how these functions uh, affect the light within the camera. So um, I'll try to make this short and sweet. Here it goes. So the first thing we're going to talk about is aperture, which is also called your f-stop. Um, this controls the lens's diaphragm. It's basically a physical component in every lens that functions just like your iris does in your eye. It uh, contracts and expands and lets in certain amounts of light. Um, each f number represents a stop of light. So this um, lens here, yeah, this lens here, as you can see, is at f 1.8. Um, that is the widest aperture that this lens goes. Um, on the Canon T3i, you can change this setting by holding AV, I believe, and rolling your shutter. And you see, as you can see, that uh, f-stop number is getting higher, but it actually means that that diaphragm is closing, and which means it's not bringing in as much light. Um, it's kind of counterintuitive. Counter um, but see, this lens goes all the way up to f22, um, which that means this, this lens is completely almost closed, letting in hardly any light at all. The only time you'd want to use this is in a situation where there's just insane amounts of light, just middle of the day, um, sun glaring down, that type of thing. So that is what your aperture does, and um, that is how you change uh, that setting on the T3i. So the second thing to talk about would be your exposure, which is called your ISO. Um, this determines uh, the image sensor's sensitivity to the light that comes in through the aperture. So your aperture brings in light, and your ISO determines how much of that light it wants to be sensitive to and actually pick up and use in the picture. Um, this is also represented by numbers. Um, if you press your ISO button on the top, you can change this. Mine is at 1600 right now. You can go, you can watch as um, I go down. It's at 100. That means that uh, my sensor is not very sensitive right now at 100. That's why it's so dark. Um, as it, I make it more sensitive, you notice that it does get brighter. And my ISO goes, goes all the way up to 6400. Um, I would recommend, though, that you do not go over 1600 ISO because after 1600 and even at 1600, some people say don't even go above 800, but after 1600 you do see a lot of grain in your video and it's not necessarily a bad thing, but it doesn't look as professional. Um, it's better in low light situations when you go higher up, but even still you might want to bring some lights or something because that grain uh, may kind of hurt the over overall quality of your video. So um, yeah, that's what your ISO does. Um, as you can see, mine goes all the way up to 6400, but some ISOs even go up to like 1280 or 12,800. But like I said, you don't really want to go over um, 1600 on the Canon T3i. So the last thing to mention uh, when talking about exposure is your shutter speed. And this is basically um, another physical component in your camera that acts like a curtain that opens and closes and lets in uh, light very, very quickly. Um, the shutter speed is measured in fractions of a second. It's right here on the lower left-hand corner of your um, LCD screen. Uh, so it says 1250 there, and th they're, me they're measured in fractions of a second, so that's 1 over 1250. Um, the shutter speed can be adjusted using the rolling shutter function on the top of the camera. Um, notice as I roll it to the left, the number it looks like it's getting smaller, but it's actually getting bigger because you have to remember that that is a fraction of a second. So instead of 1 over 1250, I bring it over and it's 1 over 320 now. It gets a lot brighter. This is because that shutter is staying open longer. Um, it's letting in more light, so it gets brighter and brighter and brighter. Um, and I'm at 60 frames a second here, so that means that my shutter can only go up to 1 over 60. Um, if, it were, if it were 30 frames a second, you can get all the way up to 1 over 30. But um, the point is, uh, when the shutter is opening and closing faster, 
you're not getting as much light, and that happens on the other end of the spectrum. If I go all the way over to 1 over 3200, 1 over 4000, that means my shutter is um, opening and closing extremely fast, so we're not getting as much light. Um, that's, also ideal, that's also ideal for situations where you do have a, a, a lot of extra light, like in the middle of the day, you can maybe bring your shutter down. Um, it also, the shutter speed really affects motion blur a lot. You can't really tell in this uh, situation here where I'm on a tripod, but um, when your shutter speed is very low, um, you get a lot of motion blur, but when it's higher, your, uh, your shutter's opening and closing much faster, and you get much crisper images. So yeah, you'll have to mess with these uh, functions. They all interact together, and um, the more you just kind of play around with uh, how each one works, you know, have your, have your uh, aperture open very wide and see how that affects um, what your shutter speed needs to be or what your ISO needs to be because um, they all interact together. So that's kind of like a basic uh, description of how they do work together. Um, I'm gonna be doing another, another video soon that kind of goes into more detail. I just wanted to make this one brief and hopefully to the point. Um, just uh, leave any comments about maybe how to make this tutorial better or something you wanna see, uh, something uh, you didn't understand. But um, anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.